I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Keep up the good work, buddy. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Cardla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Port Elizabeth. It doesn't look finished. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Cardla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Port Elizabeth. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Port Elizabeth, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. I found this at the governor's mansion. Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm.
Keep your hands off my mop! Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. a few coins for I guess I lost my way.
take a shortcut back. Museum of Pirate Lore. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island, at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. Tell me again about the eye patch. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. There's some very tiny writing on it. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. It's cracker mix, some assembly required. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. doesn't fit. This is awesome! Now I can open one of the jail cells.
What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Wow, that's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used ships. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stans used ships. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. I made him up. Classic and subtle. Like me. But I don't need to be wearing this right now. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible. And there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. 
Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. What do you make of this eye patch? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good, great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If. If. If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right, let's see what I can do. Pointy little tricky a fight. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful charm or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail.
I should move farther away from the quartermaster so she doesn't see me. I should move farther away from the quartermaster so she doesn't see me. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Blobby spongy part. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. Oh, when's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital one. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule, you are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But, no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is... I throw you back down here! Nothing's worse than this! <laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um... You know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ain't an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo, ho, yo. Pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. More chickens? Gunpowder? Cannonballs? Golden jewels? 
Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. The curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Marvin. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. I can't see much through this thing. Yep. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Looks like you missed a spot. Aw. Oh. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. I'll just put a little dab on there. A spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Wait, you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Better. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! It's working! Blah, 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 blah,
Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, Obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. <laughs> 